A heavily traveled section of I-95 collapsed in Philadelphia on Sunday morning after a tanker truck burst into flames underneath it, police said. The massive smoky blaze broke around 6 a.m. near the Cotman Avenue exit, right beneath a northbound overpass in the Tacony neighborhood. Parts of the overpass were reduced to rubble as the stretch of the major highway collapsed, ABC reports. The highway catastrophe led to all lanes of the interstate being shut down between the exits of Whitavon Road in northeast Philadelphia and Aramingo Avenue in the Port Richmond neighborhood. Today's going to be a long day, said Dominic Myrles, director of Philadelphia's Office of Emergency Management, at a press conference. And obviously, with 95 northbound gone and southbound questionable, it's going to be even longer than that. The roadway's gone. Philadelphia Fire Department Captain Derek Bomer said the burning truck also led to explosions underground, with flames coming out of manholes that were blown off. Mark Fusetti, a retired Philly police surgeon, said he was heading to the Philadelphia International Airport on Interstate 95 when he witnessed the black smoke and plumes rising over the highway. Fusetti told the AP he watched as a notable dip began to form on the highway, with traffic coming to a halt before the northbound lanes collapsed. It was crazy timing, Fusetti said. For it to buckle and collapse that quickly, it's pretty remarkable. Margles said the scene remained active Sunday, with the destruction likely to impact the region for a long time. Pennsylvania Gob Josh Shapiro said in the statement that he has been briefed on the situation and urged residents to steer clear of that section of the highway. For now, please avoid the area and follow the direction of the first responders on the scene, Shapiro said. But Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg said he is also monitoring the situation and has been in touch with Shapiro and the Federal Highway Administration to offer any assistance that USDOT can provide to help with recovery and reconstruction. The city is treating the incident as a hazmat situation, with health officials working to determine the environmental impacts of the blaze and runoff into the nearby Delaware River. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notification button for more videos.